NEA lesson two, we're going to look at analyzing some existing products. Um, so we want to look, as it says on the level ladder up here, at analyzing multiple products that already exist that are working alongside what we've identified in our problem um, for our potential idea. So we're looking for analyzing with justified paragraphs, that's a very important word, five or more products. Uh, we're going to use Access FM, which we'll look at in a moment, which is a way of analyzing products to ensure that we are thorough and analyze them against a range of criteria. Uh, and you can see the level ladder here with descriptors, but really we all want to be aiming for the top level up here. So three basic steps for this lesson, find your products. So you want to find, uh, as we said, five products for level nine. Um, either take your own photos or find images online. It's useful to take your own photos because you get a range of views and you can view different features and take photos of different features. But obviously, if you're designing something like a skateboard rack that you don't have, because that's the problem you want to solve, you'll have to look online at examples. The products don't have to be, and it's better actually if they're not, the exact thing you're going to make. So for example, if you're doing something that's like a, a skateboard rack that holds a range of items, you could look at an existing product that's quite similar, but then look at other racks or storage solutions um, that you can take ideas or inspiration from and analyze those. So they could be for things that are completely different, um, but yet it's still relevant to your project because of the, the features they have or the materials they're made from. Stage two, we're going to look at using this Access FM method that most of you be familiar with as a starting point to think about uh, analyzing your product. And then you're going to write an overall summary of the page what did you learn from looking at the page and how will it inform your product? And within that, try and tie it back in to the contextual challenge. So always explain how this is appropriate to our selected contextual challenge for this year. So Access FM, this was taken from Google. I didn't produce this resource, I should say. Um, so you can find this by searching Access FM help sheet and it will be there for you online. It's an excellent resource that's been nicely designed and well produced, but not by me. So aesthetics, what it looks like, cost, for example, country, customer, environment, size, safety, function, and material. So if you use these as starting points and the questions that are on this side to help you just start the sentences and think about when the designer was designing this product, what were they thinking in terms of these aspects? Here's a completed example uh, that has got a, a color code just to help you understand how things have been done. So. The red text is a fact, so it's a statement. And generally, if you just state facts about something, you're looking at a level three, maybe a maximum four. You'll see from the first sentence, the organizer has AirPods, has smooth lines and round corners. Now, we can see that from looking at the picture. That is not an analysis. The second sentence is what makes it an analysis, and it's that justification that's so important. So this means that it fits in with the style of Apple products, uh, that it's storing. So it ties in with that sleek design style that Apple have got. By adding that justification, it shows that you understand uh, the work of a designer and you understand how to analyze, analyze things properly. So if we look at the customer, uh, it's aimed at people who own uh, a number of gadgets. Again, that's quite clear from looking at the product. You wouldn't buy this if you only owned a phone because it's got storage for the, the uh, AirPods and the Apple Watch. But then it ties in with the second sentence, justifying it, specifically aimed at those who own multiple products and like to look after them, which fits in with the target audience. If you're a teenager and you've got an Apple Watch, AirPods and a phone, uh, they're expensive products. They're sought after expensive products that you have to look after. You may have saved up them for a long time uh, or they may all be gifts that you've accumulated over a long time. So it enables you to look after them and ensure that they're safe and well kept. So again, it's just adding that contextual uh, evidence but also the justification as to why you think these things down the bottom you'll see a conclusion and you've got some positive attributes that you found from analyzing the product and some potential negatives and i'll let you have a look at that in your own time because you can pause the video and read it this is another one that was sent by aqa uh, that shows you the same thing again you can pause and read this one to get you some, some ideas but you must ensure that whenever you're writing anything it's all in your own words Okay, so this is the exam uh, board criteria and to give you a context and an idea of why we're doing this and how to make it work. If you look at the bottom, I've highlighted in red, this is the top level descriptor. So you're looking at marks from eight to 10 for this section out of 10. And this describes everything you have to do to meet that. 
So at the bottom, it says, extensive evidence that investigation of design possibilities has taken place throughout the project. So this does carry throughout the whole project, but this is one part of it. With excellent justification and understanding of possibilities identified. So by doing this task, you're identifying those possibilities, you're analysing them, and the key word there is that you're justifying your findings and your research to make sure that your project is not only a unique item, so it doesn't look just like the things you've done, but you've established that there is a market for it and you've established the types of things that are already out there and how you can produce it. So to clarify, for this lesson, you are going to be looking at up to five existing products and analysing them using the Access FM framework that we've shown earlier on on the slide. Good luck.